Hey, this is Cody Askins with Secure Agent Mentor and SecureAgentMentor.com. Thanks for watching and listening. Today we're going to we're going to give a review over Genworth Life Insurance Company and go over their long-term care product, which they have arguably the best long-term care product uh, in the in the long-term care space. And as an independent insurance agent, uh, we use them here at our agency. And today we're going to go over the history, location, rating, product available, product details, how to run quotes, ways for a client to pay, apps, ways to submit business, and their niche, so to speak. Um, Genworth has been around since 1871, so that's over 145 years. They're out of Richmond, Virginia, and they now have a B++ rating with A&M's Best. The product that they have available is their long-term care product, and their long-term care product is extremely competitive and one of the best long-term care products, again, in the insurance industry. And so we're going to go over uh, the details of this product, and we're going to go over, uh, as we're doing that, we're going to actually run a quote together. And so we have a way through our agency to run multiple long-term care companies through a long-term care comparison. But again, we use Genworth more often than any other. Um, we'll, we'll, uh, we've got Betty and Joe here, both 58. Uh, they're married. We'll make a partnership plan. We've got a male and then a female. Um, Joe's in okay health, and Miss Betty's in pretty good health. I won't quote too many people preferred best because long-term care is difficult to help qualify for. We'll go with a monthly benefit of $4,000 a month at a three years. The average stays about two and a half years in a uh, care facility. That gives us a bucket of money or a pool of money of $144,000 apiece. We'll put 100% for home health care, 100% for assisted living benefit. Informal care benefit, I'll leave it up to the client. I don't generally prefer to do that because then they're getting care from someone that's not a licensed care provider. Inflation, we always include it. Number one, it makes a partnership qualified. And also, we want their pool of money to grow as, it, as care, the cost of care rises. So we'll do 3% compound each year. Uh, we'll do calendar days. I like calendar days. It's just able to, you're able to meet that sooner. Uh, calendar days versus service days. Calendar days is just the amount, just, just 90 straight days or however many straight days. Service days is 90 days that they actually received care or received service of care. So we'll just do 90 days is typically, that, that's pretty standard for elimination period. Uh, home uh, home health care uh, elimination period waiver. I like to include this so they don't have to wait 90 days and they can receive care at home from day one. The premium waiver on, on claim uh, is a I always include that so that they don't have to pay for their policy while they're receiving care. Return of premium to age 65 is a standard. The non-forfeiture benefit, I do always, uh, I do always make that contingent just so that if they ever were to lose or cancel their policy, they would get some of their money back. Um, both insureds are applying, so we do get a spousal discount there. Shared care is something I like to include if the client's okay with it. It does include a substantial cost to it because then they can use each other's buckets and uh, share long-term care benefits. Uh, if Betty were to use all of her buckets, she can go and start using some of Joe's bucket. He can. Uh, I believe she has to leave at least one year of his bucket left in there. Uh, it varies by carrier. I could be wrong. but um, Payment option is lifetime standard. And then for modal, we can pay monthly, quarters, quarterly, semi-annual, or annual. And so we'll calculate a premium, 162 for Joe, 139 for Betty, for a total premium of 302 a month which really isn't too bad. Uh, again, long-term care is very expensive nowadays and it's very difficult to health qualify for. We like people to start at a younger age to start looking at it. Now the actual application and the ways to pay, we've got a pretty in-depth 56-page application here with Genworth and the different ways to pay is by uh, electronic funds transfer out of their bank account uh, the other way to pay is you can pay the initial one by a credit card if you'd like, only the initial payment though, or you can pay by direct bill. Uh, I don't believe they'll allow monthly. You know, I think the only direct bill they'll allow is quarterly, semi-annual, or annual. They've got a pretty in-depth application here for long-term care. And the way to submit business, I believe it is still, uh, I think the only way is through paper, face-to-face, -face, and faxing or scanning the app into your brokerage house. 
Uh, their niche is strictly the long-term care space. So again, this is Cody, As Cody Askins with Secure Agent Mentor and secureagentmentor.com. Thanks for joining and listening. And we will talk soon. Thank you.